I almost lost my own father. Let me give you some background first. My father is a doctoral student at Columbia University, the third best university in the nation. He needed to write a huge dissertation. But not only that, he also was a teacher in Brooklyn Technical High School. And when the pandemic was announced, he came up with the idea of one website per day. I well, thought it was crazy. I advocated against it. I mean, who would be able to create one website for every single school day? Not only do you have to teach the kids, but I mean, you have to also create the coding for the and the videos as well. But when I saw the website, I was astounded. We're doing much more than just coding the website, putting up the video. He also created something else. Well, the websites were composed of five late. First, the flipped classroom, learning from home and working from school. Then the do now, which was the introduction to the lesson, like a little question that would lead up to the big idea, which is self-explanatory. It's the big idea of the lesson. And then I saw something astounding. He wasn't only recording videos, but he was also creating games. He made a game called the escape room where, well, you had to open a few doors. So, well, I thought against it. I mean, who would create one website per day and work that much? I started telling him. And he said, we haven't had somebody who's created some great leap in science since Einstein. We haven't had anybody who's created such a great leap in physics since 1879. And I want every single person in the world to be the third leap in physics. And well, so I asked, well, why don't we have these Einsteins already? And then my father told me, we do have these Einsteins already. And just that we don't teach them the right way. We don't keep them in the right environment. That's our school system. And then I kind of got his point about websites. But the thing was, one website per day, that would be nearly impossible to hold up. Then one day, he reached his breaking point. It was June 25th, 2021, which you also might recognize is yesterday. My father, well, left home at about 6.30 a.m. to do business at Brooklyn Tech, taking my brother with him because my brother, Refat Bob, was also a student at Brooklyn Tech. And then when they returned home at about 7 a.m., well, I saw my father was a bit lethargic, but he was fine, mostly. And so I saw him studying while I was trying to comprehend my field equations. Stressing out as always. But when I tried to wave at him, he would usually wave back these days, but not today. And then I saw him going to the bathroom. Expected, well, the normal thing. He'd splash water on his face and then walk back after about 15 seconds. But something unexpected happened. Um, my dad's jaw was open and he was carrying uh, water in his hand. And then suddenly, he lost all his consciousness. First, his legs grew to the floor, lifeless. Then his arms followed. And finally, the worst happened. His head banged on the sink and then hit the toilet. His chin landed in the space between the sharp toilet. It was a disaster. Everybody suddenly was starting to scream. The head hit the floor with a disturbing thud. And, uh, well, his gums were bleeding. His front four teeth were almost obliterated. And, well, his chin was also bleeding. And he was in, well, he couldn't experience any pain because he was knocked out. But, well, I presume he would be in a lot of pain. And... My mother, my brother, me, we were all screaming. I had absolutely no idea what was happening. Then I started to think all the memories I had with my father. And I could lose them now, right here, just 
when I was nine years old. And so, but I could lose them so fast. The person who I made so many memories with, I mean, it was just too much of an immense concept for me. But uh, he passed out on the floor. Sorry, guys, I'm getting kind of emotional. It's really hard for me to talk. But he was uh, bleeding, and my mother took him to the bed. And I sat with him along with my brother, and he was passed out lying on the floor. My brother tried to call 911. The ambulances came after 15 minutes. We thought it was a little too late, but <clears throat> came a little just in time. And my father was carried into the ambulance. Tried to give him one last goodbye, but I knew he was unconscious, so it wouldn't last. And, well, I don't really know what happened, so instead I'm just taking off a, a recording that was on my phone. So, what happened apparently was, uh, sorry, my father was, well, being tested. I almost lost my father, and he's still in bad condition because his chin is still bleeding, and his four front teeth are still not doing well, so... Please pray for my dad. I want to tell you the best moments I've shared shared with my dad. आज मुझे बार बार एक ही ख्याल आता है। पापा कहते हैं बड़ा नाम करेगा। बेटा हमारा ऐसा काम करेगा। मगर ये तो कोई न जाने। Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming. 